matchup for our first Sunday night of the year. The Cowboys and Giants underway in week one. Taken at the goal line. And just shedding him off there. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Prescott to throw it. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. They went for the deep shot early, and that's fine, but I don't think it was the right target to throw it to. You have three other guys sprinting downfield, and I thought two of them were open. Could have avoided an interception there by attacking a different player in coverage. So here are the Giants now in great field position to start their initial drive. And they're brought out by a fifth-year pro coming off a career season as a passer and a runner. It's Danny Dimes, Daniel Jones. We knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. He can throw it deep, throw it short, and of course take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Again, it's Barkley. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 37. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here comes third in the length of the football. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 45. Well, far to know these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. That ball caught by Slayton. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. They'll hold everything because Darren Waller, the tight end, appears to be injured on that play. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. Only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Out to his left. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Giants are on the board here first in the season opener. And Daniel Jones has always been an integral part of his team's run game. Five touchdowns on the ground in the first three years. Had seven last season. So even if it's not a cold quarterback run, he understands where the goal line is and often will carry it himself. Gano the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Now Lewis selects to return it. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, 
keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. Prescott from the gun. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. The veteran tight end, Mercedes Lewis, the intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. Now Prescott. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. On the return, Jackson. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out, able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. And they get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Give them 32 on the play. the play fake Jones and this is incomplete very lucky to get that one back that nearly picked it's second down now it's Barkley on the counter a little joke and he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. But hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken out. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Play action. Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Anytime they think they've got him open beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it as well. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. Jones going to throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Giants! Lawrence Cager from 10 yards out. And the Giants have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Extra point try, good by Gano. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Nothing the score. This is the NFL. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. First down, and it's Pollard again. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Tackled on the play by Darian Beavers. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Here's Pollard again. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Prescott from the gun on third. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. 
And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is, and then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get his second one. The New York set to take the field. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. We always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. They go play action here on first down. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Pollard will take it up the gun. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. From the 22 now, here's his second and nine. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. Still second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Prescott down. Swinging this out for Pollard. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play. And third and eight now. There's Prescott. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Oh, heck of a move. And he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. The Giants going to take over again on offense. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and ten. They'll get this down inside the ten for a pickup of about three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Off the play fake. Jones steps away. And he'll get this down inside the five and the four before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So the interception set it up in terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. This will come out to the 25 as Lewis is going to opt to not return it. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. A give to Pollard, running left. And he'll get across the 20, but only to about the 22-yard line. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Here's Jackson to return. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football. And they've moved him out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellows. Not an easy thing for them to do. Running again with Barkley on second down. He juked him. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 70 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Okay, here we go. This offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and 10. They'll go to Barkley again. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play. So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute, but first... Time to give the folks. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Running left, it's Barkley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. A 
A handoff, Barkley running left. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Well, Mark, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Pass to Bellinger on the crossing route. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this hit across the 40. Nine yards on the game there, so he got half of it back. And it'll be third down. They'll run it again with Barkley. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Here's Jamie Gillendale. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. This is taken at about the 14. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. On third down, it's Prescott. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. Here's Jackson. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And they will take over first and ten. The New York set to take the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. the middle with Barkley. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. 103 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Second down. Here's Barkley again. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Consecutive runs of six yards gives him a first and ten. After a couple of seasons of battling injuries, the former number two overall pick returned to Pro Bowl form with over 1,300 yards and ten touchdowns. Just as important, played 16 games and handled them. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Chalk that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. Looking for Shepard deep. And he's got it inside the 10. And he's going to be out of bounds here, all the way down inside the 10. A big play there for the Giants. And even 40 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line. And we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Cowboys. 
One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. A handoff to Barkley. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. On the move to his left. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones with now three week one touchdowns. And the Giants are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Gano the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And here's Lewis. And here's Lewis. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And out now come the Cowboys. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now this throw caught left side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. It's a game of 25 yards. First down, Cowboys. Prescott looks to throw on first. That's into the hands of Tolbert. Will go down as a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. And a moment here to recognize a nice milestone for Dak Prescott. That last throw puts him over 25,000 yards passing for his career. Not too bad for a fourth-round pick. And congratulations to Dak on what has been a solid career thus far. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third and four. They'll throw again. Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a pickup of six. It's a gain of six. And the Cowboy first down. On first and ten, Prescott. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Throwing. Prescott. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Oh, Shane Zeminis gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Well, following the play here, now we've got an injury. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Barkley. 
Barkley inside handoff. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. The fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. But with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Tolbert. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. To throw is Prescott. He's got Lewis. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Prescott off play action. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. A second down throw for Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. A first down throw for Prescott. There again is Cooks complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Third and short yardage, Prescott. And that one too wide and incomplete. I think this is what this game's become now. It just go deep. See if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down. No problem there. They get the first by plenty on fourth and inches. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. 
So for the Giants, you can't ask for a better start as they pitch a shutout here in the opener. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for Dallas, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.